when I first started working on Cassini, my daughter Jennifer had just started kindergarten. And now she's married with a daughter of her own. I've worked on the Cassini project for almost 30 years, and that's an entire Saturn orbit. Part of Cassini's success is really the tremendous international collaboration. We had three space agencies contributing to this. NASA from the United States, ESA, the European Space Agency, and Aerospatiale Italian, the Italian Space Agency, all contributing hardware to this mission. The beauty of Cassini is the design. It's the largest outer planetary spacecraft ever built. Twelve different instruments brought from all over the United States and Europe. The Huygens probe built by the European Space Agency. When you put all of that together, it's just a monumental machine. Three, two, one. And liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a 30 mile trip to Saturn. After everybody started getting their science, the beauty of what I saw in Cassini was they started collaborating with each other and saying, I have a picture of this part of Titan, what does your picture look like, you know? Looking back at what we were planning to do in those first four years, we've gone so far beyond that. We basically explored the whole solar system contained within the Saturnian system. We remapped our investigations to concentrate on the questions that Cassini raised. The fact that there is interplanetary dust raining in on Saturn and that collection of icy satellites and moons. The fact that we found subsurface oceans on Enceladus, which surprised everyone. Two of our instruments actually sampled the plume of Enceladus as we flew through, tasting the gas, measuring the particles in a way that we hadn't planned. Cassini has changed the paradigm of where we might look for life. That will be one of her legacies. 13 years of exploring Saturn. It really is just, a, just an awesome mission.